welcome back. <laughs> we have such an exciting video today. Um, so this is us in the future. So the video you're gonna see it's of us in the past. <laughs> what she means to say is that this is from a past project that we've done. Um, if you follow us on Instagram, it's for the couch. Sweet. <laughs> it's for the sitting area couch fireplace fireplace multi-use maybe we'll post a picture so we wanted to explain a little bit what's going on with this project we have wanted to open in um, youtube for a very long time but we never got around to doing it so um, everyone has always been like oh my god you should record your projects and post them and show how you do it um uh, but we never did so with that project it was gonna be such a big one it was the first I had ever like taken on that i told jesus i was like i'm gonna record it i'm just gonna like try to record little pieces first mistake i made the clips are very very short i we didn't really talk so the whole video is gonna be a voiceover and i recorded the phone upward so the next clips might be sideways. We want to apologize that the the video is not going to be the best quality, the best angles, but we still wanted to make you guys this video for you guys because so many people were so interested and we were a little bit on the fence, but it's still content and it's still something for you guys to at least have an idea how we did it. And we're going to try to like explain it as best as, best as possible on the voiceover. I wish we, we would have known. I know. Um, I've had that those clips for months on my phone and you know i was like please let's do a video please let's do a video and i've been promising on instagram like because everybody's how did you do that how did you do that and i'm like i have a video i'll be posting but yeah so it might not be the best quality video but i do feel like it will be very instructive yeah um we'll show you guys what we made mistakes on what oh, we made a few <laughs> we made one too many that was a that was a tiring project but uh, and again, you can always make it your own. You can make it smaller, bigger, whatever you yeah. want. Yeah, even though it might not be the best quality or the best angles, we're still posting it for you guys. So we hope you enjoy. Feel free to comment below if you have any extra questions that we didn't explain on the video. Let's rewind to a few months ago and see how it all started. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and mark the area where this seating area is going to go. This is what ours looked like when it was done. Now, time to take out the grass. All right, so mistake number one, you do not have to do this. We went ahead and took out the whole square because our backyard is on a slope. And as you can see here, we're trying to elevate it and level it out as much as possible, but you do not need to tamper the ground since after we did it, we filled all of this up with paper base. If your yard is leveled, you might not have to do this and you'll be saving a lot of time and money. We decided to go ahead and do this because we wanted to create this sitting area off the ground. Right here, we have our number one helper, my dad, carrying all the materials we need. You guys will see him in this video and meet him more ahead. We use the paper base to level out the ground and now is when you really have to go ahead and stomp it into place. Once stopped, it's time to place the first brick. You want to make sure that these are as leveled as possible. You might have to make some cuts, but be patient. It all comes together at the end. Once it's built, you're going to want to go ahead and install rebar and cement down every other hole. This is going to provide the extra stability that it needs. You're going to need a lot and a lot and a lot of cement. This is what you do when you live in Florida and you have hurricanes every year. This bad boy is not going anywhere. And this is the shell of what you have just built.
Once you have allowed the cement to go ahead and dry, you're gonna install these caps. What we used was a construction adhesive, more like a glue, and then you just place these over the cement blocks. This will not allow anything to get in or out. These are fairly easy to apply. Just place them on and make sure they're aligned to the bottom bricks. Unfortunately, we ran out of supplies and had to make a quick Home Depot run. And that's the satisfaction of a properly done cut. With the caps done, it's time to move on to the stucco. Right now, we're going to apply the base coat let that dry and then we'll do the finished coat. Just follow the instructions on the back. Make sure to add water little by little. This is the consistency that you want. Once you grab it with the spatula, you don't want it to fall out. Okay, so here's mistake number two. This product only applies if the surface beneath it is wet. Unfortunately, we didn't know that and we started to apply the stucco, but then we had to come back, remove it, and wet the whole thing and start all over. Making sure that the base is wet will allow the stucco to go on evenly and stick to whatever it is you're applying it to. And this is what it should look like when you're finished applying the base coat. We wanted to go for a very old aged rock style finish. So what we did was once it was almost dried, we went in with a damp sponge and make sure to take off all those rough edges. I did not go in too harsh because I wanted it to look like a rock and have a very uneven finish. If you do want a more perfect, even, smooth finish, make sure to repeat this process a few times. This is the completed look. Now we go ahead and we do the top of the caps. What we did was add more product and just bring it down enough for it to connect with the walls that were already there. Once it starts to dry, this is what the product is going to look like. You need to make sure to keep it moist for the first 72 hours to prevent cracking. The finished coat we got was in the color white, so this is what it looked like. This process was exactly the same as the base. This is one of the most important things of the seating area, the support. We went ahead and cut a couple of 2x4s and drilled them straight into the concrete blocks and held them with some concrete anchors. We decided to use pavers as a seating area to avoid buying cushions since they were very expensive and it's not what the look we were going for. You want to make sure to add plywood on top of the wood supported to the bricks and the pavers will go on top of this. When anchoring the 2x4s, make sure to leave enough space for the width of the plywood so it stays flush. Once we did that, we went ahead and started with the actual pavers. We've been asked why we didn't go with the cushions. We wanted something that was easy to maintain and clean since this is outdoors and gets rained on all the time. That is why we decided to go with this and it's actually extremely comfortable. We might buy cushions in the future, but it is definitely does not need it. Since the support of the wood and the front of the blocks are flush, you don't need much to actually apply it. You just install some of the construction adhesive and you lay the paver on it and it's going to sit as flush as possible. Once they are all applied, make sure to caulk all the connections. With the seating area done, it was time for the fire pit. You wanna make sure that this floor is as leveled as possible so you can avoid extra work on the next ones. Or you can have a wonky fire pit. I mean, it is up to you. We can't tell you what to do. <laughs> We kept some paper base in a little bucket next to us and just added some in the corners if it needed to assure that we had an even ground. For those that don't know, paper base is a mix of crushed concrete and sand mix. Once the first floor is leveled, you wanna go ahead and pour some paper base in the hole to prevent it from moving. For the rest of the fire pit, we went ahead and used construction adhesive and just placed the bricks flush with the prior one.
Repeat this process until you have your des desired height. We used some fire bricks for the actual area that was going to consist of the logs and around it we bought these black rocks off of Amazon, as always they'll be linked below. And these are decorative rocks, so it'll look nice when it's done. The beige bricks that you see there are fire retention bricks. And of course, we couldn't wait to test this out. Finally, we leveled the ground one more time and went ahead and installed pavers. We decided to go ahead and use these little pavers for our floor. We will link some videos below for a guide of how to install them. And after months of work, we finally were able to celebrate we were done. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I hope the instructions were informative. I, I know it's very quick, but please, please, please feel free to leave us comments below. We will answer whatever it is that you guys have questions on. We made it a little bigger than what it had to be. If you decide to recreate this, you can use make it any size that you want. You can make it your own. And I mean, in the final video, you're gonna see how both corners have like a different tone and level what we decided to do there since it was a corner we kind of thought it was like empty space and realistically if you have people here it's hard for someone to sit like that because of the angle so what we decided to do there which we did not add clips of that here on the video because it is something that obviously you could just make it your own however it is that you like you could just leave it as a seating area but we decided to go ahead and make it like elevated little tables. That way you have where to put your drink or your food or whatever you have at that moment. I want to go on emphasis of why it's so big. Why we made it so big if we're just two people. We're huge on family and we wanted something that was spacious and relaxing and big enough that when our whole family was together, we all fit, we could all be around the campfire and spend time together. It's something so permanent because it is concrete that we did not want to regret the fact that it was too small after. So we just went ahead and made it a little bit bigger. We hope you guys liked it. Thanks for tuning in. As always, we'll make sure to link in the description below all yes. the materials that we use. If you have any questions, just comment on the video below or DM us on Instagram. We'll make sure to answer. We'll link it below as well. Make sure that you like and follow. Right? Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> yeah, we oh follow the Instagram. See Bye. you on the next one.